Oh, what? And use balaclava terrace as a runway? Yeah, really practical. <laughs> oh, come here. What? Your tie needs straightening. Oh, God, you women don't have fuss. <laughs> See you later. See you later. school. I'll let me at home. Well, you've got your key. No. What's up? Just everyone at school's got a really cool phone, and I've got your rubbish old one. Right. You can't even send picture texts on it. Right. Right, OK, listen. If you carry on behaving yourself, you do all them jobs in the flat that I ask you to. What, like washing up and tidying my bedroom? Yeah. I'll get you a new phone. Proper one. Really? Really? I'll do everything, 110%. Right, I'll go get my pack lunch. See you. Thanks, Mum. See you later. How are you? <laughs> Can't be easy, what you've been through. Oh, it's OK in the day. There's distractions. It's just night times. You go to bed and you just feel so lonely. Life's never easy, is it? Never predict them all. Yeah, you can say that again. You all right, Si? Fine. You can say thank you to Robert for letting me use your tablet. Thank you, Robert. Don't get too enthusiastic, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, and just so you know, if you're thinking of asking her out... Simon? Her fellas usually end up dead. Or on the other side of the world. Oh, charming. I'm just saying. I'm so sorry about that. Don't be. Death affects everyone, doesn't it? Oi! That was very rude, showing me up in front of the chef like that. The chef? Yeah, Robert, the chef. I want an apology. I want, doesn't get. <sighs> oh, who taught me that? You did. I was just talking to him. About Cal, actually. I'm not looking for another bloke, you know. Well, you can do what you want. It's no business of mine. Well, it's funny, isn't it? Because you seem to make it your business. Oh, and just for the record, stop being so rude about your dad and all. And stop being so flippant about Cal, I loved him. Blech. Right, well, you know what this means. I'm trying to watch this. You're not going to have a new phone. I don't want a new phone. I was just on the make. You know what? I was a right nightmare when I was a kid. But no one, no one holds a candle to you. You'll have to have a cereal bar because there's no clean bowls and I'm not washing them. I'm sorry. I bought yesterday. You were out of order. I know. Well, if you're just saying this, so I'll get you a new phone. I'm not. I don't deserve the phone. Right, well, I accept your apology then. Oh, come here. <sighs> I do love you, you know. I love you too. Maybe if I'm good throughout the week, you might get me a new phone. We'll see. Right, I'm off. No, oh, it's a bit early yet. I'm going to have a bit of a kick about with some more lads. Right, OK. See you. See you later. Oh, hang on a minute, Si. <sighs> oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. No, my fault, sorry. Did you ring your day off? Oh, cleaning therapy. I remember. I used to pick a fight just to keep the flat tidy. <laughs> You stressed then? Ah, oh, you know, just living with an adolescent. <laughs> He's going through a rough patch. You know, sometimes I feel like giving it all up. Still, when you love someone, you can't, can you? No, no I suppose not. Yeah, I'm sure he'll grow out of it. Yeah. Right then, I best get off. See you later. Bye. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. I I'll come straight away. 
Right, Tim. You were warned last time if this happened again. Now, I can't believe they sent you home. What were going to tell your granddad? It weren't my fault. Oh, no, it never is. It was yours. What are you talking about? They were laughing at my phone, saying it was rubbish, saying I were rubbish. If you'd only got me a new one. Well, you know very well that was your fault and not mine. And that's still no excuse for fighting. But if you think you can doss around, you can forget it. As soon as you get inside, I want you to wash them dishes that you should have done yesterday. Put this off long enough. By the time my bath's finished running, I want them dishes done. Let's do them later. You'll do them now. Sick of you. Well, do you know what? I'm getting pretty sick of you and all. Get them done! No, do them yourself. What did you just say? You would. And anyway, I'm saying at Cal's Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> Try stopping me. Right, I've had enough of this. Get off me! Room. She's probably left somewhat running. I've got my ladders outside, so we'll make up and have a look. <laughs> Hang on. What if she's um, in the bath? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like it's, uh, it's just been like a little bit full and she's got in, it's like overflowed or something. You know? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's been like that before. It's just, just. I haven't noticed. All right, let's get going. Yeah. What the...? Hey, Mary. That was, like, like tiny before. Where's it coming from? Well, I don't know. I think, I think uh, Leanne's bathroom. Ringer. No, I've tried. She, you know, she's not answering. Well, you'll have to go round. You've got a spare key, haven't you? Yeah, no, but listen, Mary, what if she's just, like, she's just enjoying her bath? She'd have to be a hippopotamus to be enjoying it that much. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll go in first. Get the spare key before the ceiling comes down. No, you're right, you are. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, wait, I'll put it. Leanne! Are you there? It's Mary. Oh, my goodness. Leanne? Are you all right? Leanne! So is she okay? Call an ambulance. Quick! No, no, wait. <laughs> oh. Are you back with us? Hello. Mary, what are you doing here? Leanne, you had a fall. Don't worry, the ambulance is on its way. Uh, ambulance? Yeah, you're out cold. We need to go to A&E. Uh, there was water coming through the ceiling in the shop and... Oh, have I flooded the place? No, no, look, we're, we're only worried about you. Did they say how long they'd be? They always get an ETA. Yeah, remember, remember it's like the ambulance service, right? It's not street cars. They'll be here as fast as they can. We have a semi-conscious female with bleed to head and possible skull fracture. Were you a doctor? No, but I watch a lot of television. I think you better keep still. Can you remember what happened? Uh, no, no, it was a bit of a blur. Do you watch medical dramas, Leanne? No, not really, it's a bit gory. Oh. The gorier, the better for me. Oh. Open heart surgeries, RTAs. Yeah, Mary. Uh... Do you remember General Hospital? No, you're probably too young. I was only eight years old. Where well, there was this dishy act who played Mr. Parker Brown. Mr., not doctor, because he was a surgeon. Okay, there. Uh, I could have gone over to the medical centre. Well, you can't be too careful with head injuries. There was this chap once in the yard. Mary, I just bumped my head. An ambulance should be for somebody with a heart attack. 
Hello? Oh. Paramedics? Hello? Hello? We've got a 34-year-old female rendered unconscious after a full blood pressure normal. I think we can take over now, thanks, love. All right, love. You've had a bit of a fall, have you? Uh, yeah. Can you tell us exactly what happened? I'm with you, I don't mind. Hey, no, Mary, what's your makeup? Oh, no, you're right. Leave it to the professionals. <clears throat> How many crews have you got out on the road tonight? Four. Oh, you do a first-class job. You got here in eight minutes. I timed you. Thanks. <laughs> Leon, what's happened? Oh, just bumped me head. She was out for the count when Dev and I found her. I'm just going to the general have a look at. Can I come with you? No, it's fine. It's not serious. I don't need anyone. You can't go on your own. Who are you? I'm a mate. It's fine if you want someone with you. Yeah, I'm coming with you. No arguments. Okay, do you want me to get you anything? What happened exactly? I slipped, but went flying, knocked myself out. Where was Simon? He went to Kyle's. Right, I'll ring him later and let him know. Thanks. Hello, I'm Nurse Murphy. I'm going to examine you, if that's okay. Oh, the other one. Any nausea or vomiting? No. I feel like I've got a massive lump. That's because you have. But the bleeding stopped. And you say you fell? Yeah. Uh, tripped on the carpet. I thought you said you slipped. Tripped or slipped? I slipped. Just had a bath. The floor must have been wet. <laughs> OK. Let me just have a look lower down your neck. Any pain in your arms? No. Mm -hmm. This bruise on your arm, how did this happen? Oh. I can't remember. Working a bistro and always bumping into things, getting cuts and bruises all the time. And this one here. I'm really cack handed. <laughs> we use more blue plasters than olives sometimes. Can you just leave us alone for a few minutes? Yeah, yeah, of course. Could do with the coffee. Do you want one? No, I'm all right, thanks. Uh, could you phone Sai now and just let him know where I am? Just been speaking to Leanne Tilsey in Bay One. Um, I'm slightly concerned, so I'm going to have a quick word with her. Right. I don't think there's any serious injuries, but we'll keep you in overnight for observation. Well, I've not got any of my stuff, and my son doesn't know where I am. I've seen a lot of women with injuries like yours. Black eyes from walking into doors, bruising from slipping on wet floors. I've got a minute. What are you saying? Sometimes there's more to these injuries than patients let on. I told you it was an accident. I just want to let you know that if you were having problems, you don't have to suffer in silence. There is help out there. What's all that about? Did you speak to Sai? Yeah, I left the message. I'll try him again in a bit. She thinks I'm a bad wife. No way. Do you think I did this? I think me and you had... I feel really paranoid now. Why do they think... I don't get it, you fell and banged your head. Yeah, but I've got other cuts and bruises, Anna, so obviously two and two make five. I guess they're just trying to help. Yeah, well, give me some painkillers then. Don't make assumptions about my life because they're backing up the wrong tree. If they knew the truth. What is the truth? Simon? It's 
It's got a lot of anger issues. A lot of the time, I'm on the receiving end of it. How long has this been going on? It's been coming a while. Temper tantrums, answering back. And then there was this one time he got really upset. You know, after all that stuff we'd done, he got really angry. He started shouting and screaming. Then he lashed out. He hit you. He was mortified. He said it would never happen again. But it did. <laughs> now I do sound like a bad wife. You can't stand for this, Leon. So what do I do? I'm actually scared of him. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, frightened that I'm going to set him off again. Look, I shouldn't have told you this. It will be fine. You always say how, oh yeah. I don't want him to get into trouble. He shoved me. I fell and knocked myself out. It sounds worse. It's not like he hit me over the head with a baseball bat. Yeah. Look, he's not a bad lad, not deep down. I don't think he can help it. And he's fine a lot of the time. It's just sometimes he flies off the handle. Well, he's doing it because he knows you won't fight back. So what do I do? Phone the police? Phone social services? Whatever's going on in his head, I have to help him sort it. You need to put your foot down. If he doesn't respect you, he'll never respect anyone. Yeah, well, I don't have much respect for myself, if I'm honest. Hey, this is not your fault. You're a great mum. I wish I hadn't told you. I'm glad you did. I owe it to my dad to look out for you. I just keep hoping and praying that it's going to stop. I don't know whether it's hormones kicking in or a phase he's going through. Or oh, maybe... I don't know, maybe it's payback time. What? What if... What if he carries on? What if it gets worse? Well, I can cope. Why should you? You can't be allowed to get away with this. Sudan. His dad might not be around, but his mum is. And whatever he does, I'll always be there for him. You don't want to be stuck in the office. Work from home if you don't want to be front of house. No, I'd rather come in. You OK? Yeah, I just don't fancy all the, oh, what did the other guy look like gags. It does look sore. No, it's fine. Listen, I'll work in the office. Punishment for being such a clumsy cow. <laughs> Seriously, work from home might help with Simon now he's off school. No, he's gone back in. Texted from Kyle's, he's gone in with him this morning. Even better, a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, joy. Come on, Leanne. What's bothering you? I know you. Oh, nothing. Oh, I don't know. Just getting back from the hospital, going into the flat, Simon being away. And... Empty flat. Who's in Cal? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, look. You work wherever you want, yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, what does she want? She looks exhausted. Oh, poor her. Hi. Right, I'll go shop. See you. Are you OK? Am I OK? <laughs> She's missing Cal. That's just great. I really need to hear that, Nick. It's the truth. What do you want me to say? Oh, nothing. I'm glad I came over then. Oh, don't be like that. You know what? I'm sorry. Right, I'll see you later. I'm going to drive my little cute car over to one of the suppliers. That'll impress him, won't it? OK, well, why don't you borrow mine? Borrow mine? Oh, come on, Nick, you sound like some little lapdog. <laughs> right, right, I'm trying to help. Yeah, well, I don't know which is worse, your pity or your total lack of self-respect. Pathetic. I've just got an about. Yeah, whatever. What's up? Oh, nothing. Well, don't worry about her. She doesn't deserve it. Did Simon apologise? I've not spoke to him. I've just had texts. We well, still should have apologised, even by text. Well, don't let him run the show. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, of course. I was already right, trying... Right, I better go. I'll see you. 
flapjack support. Amy? Oh, hiya. This isn't a social call. Well, I've made a sandwich if you're hungry. Bread's 10p a slice with jam on, it's 15p. Flapjacks are 50p and milk is two pounds a glass. Two pound a glass? I'm allergic, you pay extra. I need a phone charger. A phone charger? Just my mum, don't worry. Phone charger. Hope you got a lot of pocket money, sunshine. Get to school if you like. Oh, thanks, but I want to clap eyes on him myself. Check he's OK. If this is school kit, then. Mm. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? Oh, he's put it in damp. I'll have to run it through the wash. Practice what we took after school. Look, I wasn't meaning to interfere before. No, you're right. I do need to get firmer with Simon. So I text him, get a chat with him after school. Sorry, don't worry, I wasn't... No, you're right. Can't do any harm. Thanks. See you later. Did he text back? I don't know, my phone. Take your phone. He did go to school and he wasn't at Kyle's either. Oh. Well, if he texts you this morning, he's OK, isn't he? Oh, I don't know. Si, Si, listen, it's Mom. Just call me, will you? You're not in any trouble. Just call me, please. Right, let's list everyone that he might have gone to. We'll find him. We will. I believe you took Simon's word for it. All right, so I'm stupid. Maybe we should call the police. Lucy's mum's car stinks. What of? Lucy's mum. Hi, Amy. Have you been crying? Have you seen Simon? Simon who? Simon. How was Simon? No, why would I? You sure? She'd say if she had, Leanne. Can I get changed? My clothes smell of wood and Lucy's mum's car. Yeah, go on. I think he's punishing me. We'd, um, we'd argued. You got the charger? You stole and paid me for the flapjacks. The money's at home. I'll owe it you. I'll write an IOU. You'll have to sign it, though. She's here, your mum. What she said? She's really upset. I can't keep hanging on and helping. We need to call the police. Told me phone do, or a school photo. Right, we'll be here. Amy, I need you to run to Dev's for me. Well, what's wrong with that? He looks a dog. His words, not mine. He'd kill me if that went out on a poster. Okay. Uh, we're only low on milk. The police are coming. To talk about Simon. You are a fat look. He's in my room. You what? And he owes me £4.60. What? Simon! Simon, get out here now! <laughs> Do you need stitches? I'm sorry. I'm in trouble with the police. Well, is it going to happen again? Then no, come here. Sorry, I was going to ring you once we got settled. I don't matter. Where were you? Your mum's been out of her mind. Long story, but he's safe and sound. I think he's given himself a bit of a fright. But we've agreed no more running away, haven't we? What else have you agreed? We've agreed that we're going to try harder, both of us, and we're going to stop and think before we speak. You told him? No. I guessed. Eventually, and I'm gutted. You're not the lad I thought you were. See? Well, you've protected him long enough. It landed you in a and &E. I've lost my mum and my dad. Some days I could punch brick walls. Others I can't even get out of bed, but I've never lifted a hand to my family. I'd rather cut it off. Seriously, I think it's been a real wake-up call. Hey, Si. You're a good kid, Si, deep down. I know you are. Can we just go? I'm visiting some of Britain's most outstanding Hey, areas come sit here. This is the only thing you'll sit and watch with me. <laughs> Why did you have to tell him? I promise that I'll never flip out at you again. Yeah, you've promised that before, Si. 
They thought it was him, you know. At the hospital, the nurse thought it was Zidane who was knocking me about. He was my mate. Still is your mate. He hates me. No, he doesn't hate you. He hates what you've done. And that's different. Leave it. No, it might be Grandad. Hello? Oh, yeah, hi, Z. Come up. I didn't invite him. Grand Pecoras. Oh, right, thanks. Are you uh, on the way to your gym? <laughs> nope. Shift up Titch. He's sat on my crib. I'm stopping until things are cool again. She doesn't need a bodyguard. No, and you're going to prove that to me in the next few days. And then I'll go home. Best behaviour today, right, big man? They'll be watching you like a hawk. He oh, doesn't have to stay here. I said I'm sorry, it won't happen again, I swear. I'll just uh, put these away. <sighs> but when I was your age, I used to kick off all the time with my mum. Tantrums, shouting, screaming. But you never hit her, I get it. <sighs> anyway, my mum had this trick. When I kicked off, she'd ask our next door neighbour around, this old woman. She was like a hundred years old. As soon as she turned up, I stopped. You were scared of an old woman? <laughs> nah, embarrassed. Embarrassed? I was so close to my mum. I reckoned I could have said anything to her and she'd forgive me. But with this old dear there and all, I couldn't do it. All the ranting and raving just felt childish. So what did you do? Go up to my bedroom and sulk like a self-respecting teenager. So in this scenario, you're the old woman next door. Scenario? I did Shakespeare last time. OK. In this scenario, I'm the old woman next door. Look, it's one thing going off at your mum. But when someone else is there, you kind of realise how out of order you've been. You still miss her? Every day. And nothing hurts more than remembering how I treated her back then. Right. Who wants a boiled egg? I'm sorry your boiled egg wasn't enough. Well, I'm a grown lad. I need more than a boiled egg when I'm training. Oh, hi, Jim. You know, Peter's Sarah. back from Antigua, and I'm just thinking, just maybe Sai should go and stay with him for a bit, you know, just give us both a breather. What about school? Well, I'll just have to phone him up, won't I? Listen, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it, you know. Listen, oh, I'm going to be. I'll speak to you later. All right, all right. Tra, 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 tra. <laughs> sorry, sorry, what can I get you? What did they say? Went straight to voicemail. Oh, I'm sorry, Z. Go on, what, what do you want, what do you want? So what time are you going to fetch her? Well, oh, who's this? Miley. She's been naughty with her other grandparents. Yeah, we can't wait to see her, can we, darling? But with your audition, this is a big day for you, isn't it, love? All right, what's the show? Sound of Music. I want to play Maria. Oh, gee, that's it. She's going for Maria. Yeah, and I'd happily watch you rehearse one morning, but I've got a job to get to, and... I'm sorry, I'm just in a bit of a hurry. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. Come on, sit down, watch you up. Cheese and onion on white. <laughs> Good luck for you, I'm sure you'll get it. Cheers. What time's the audition, darling? Half three. Oh, brilliant. Well, you can call in here after school, then, can't you? See Miley. OK. All right, lovely Bill. I'll see you later. Come on, then, Edelweiss. <laughs> Edelweiss is a flower, not a person. Yeah, I know. He sings it to his daughter, doesn't he? It's what they call a metaphor. What are they teaching in reading class? Uh, never mind that. How come you know so much about the sound of music? Well, it's a timeless classic, isn't it? Oh, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Faye's coping well. Ah, oh, yeah, she is. You know, it's amazing how kids can deal with just about anything. She's done it. Oh, thanks for coming round. Oh, well, maybe I should have left it till tonight. Oh, there's no time like the present, I suppose. Well, I don't know why you're so worried. He's always banging on about how much he misses his dad. Yeah, I know, but I don't want him to think that I'm sending him away. The last thing he needs is thinking that I'm rejecting him. Hiya. So what's the 911? The what? Emergency. Uh, why is he here? I'm the old woman next door, remember? Uh, it's just Sani's, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm not going into care. Do you always jump straight into worst-case scenario mode? What do you mean? I, I, why would you think that I'm sending you into care? Well, calling me back from school early, the sandwiches, him. It's not going to be anything good, is it? Sai. No one's died of these, not Grandad. No, listen, nobody's died. Put the kid out of his misery, will you? You're going to stay with your dad for a bit. Why? I thought you'd be pleased. 
Is this your idea? Me? Why would it be my idea? Look, I've already said I'm going to try harder now. You don't have to send me away. I'm not sending you away. Look, I spoke to your dad, and we both just thought a change of scenery might do you some good. Yeah, I can't believe you're turning your nose up at a holiday by the sea. I'll be there like a shot. And he really misses you, Si. And he's got loads of plans for the pair, yeah? He even mentioned borrowing his mate's boat and take you out on the water. Really? Yeah. Yeah, really. Look, why don't you go and phone him, eh? Talk it through with him? Yeah, OK. They smell good. Yep. Gonna have a lovely welcome home party. Yeah, best go and get him in a minute. Is Peter not dropping him in? No, he won't come on the street in case he sees Carla. Hmm, I know. So what does he do? Just hand him over on the platform and get the next train back? Yeah. Tried to persuade him otherwise, but he's having none of it. Oh, do you know? That is pathetic. <laughs> oh, this might be them. Oh, yeah. Robert. Oh, you are joking me. Well, where's Nick or Steph? Well, you know I'm supposed to be picking my son up this lunchtime. Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, hang on. I couldn't ask you a massive favour, could I? Pick Simon up from the station. Oh, would you mind? Sorry, it's an emergency. It's not a problem. Right, I'll do it. But I'm having the rest of the day off, right? Hmm. Right, bye. What's happened? Oh, staff wages haven't been paid. Some glitch in the computer or something. There'll be checks bouncing and all sorts unless I see to it. There's only me who could sort it out. Right, well, don't worry. <sighs> yeah, but I promised I'd be there, didn't I? Well, he's a bit glad now. We'll understand. Yeah, yeah, let's hope you're right. Right, here he is. Hi, hi. Uh, how was your journey? It was all right. Oh, listen, sorry I couldn't meet you. <laughs> Did you explain we had an emergency at work? Yeah. Listen, I've uh, made you a nice uh, welcome home tea. And then um, Grandad's going to come later on and all. Oh, and um, got you a card, look. I'm going to go to my room. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, you must be. Uh, why don't you uh, take your bag with you and then you can unpack your stuff if you want later on. like this for you? Yeah, a little bit. Peter wasn't on the train with him. What? I just put him on and left him to it. Oh, give up. I really do. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. Another sandwich, Ken? Uh, I couldn't, honestly. <laughs> More cakes, eh? I'm stuffed. Uh, you've had an adequate sufficiency is the correct expression. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, good to see you back. I've missed you. Yeah, we all have. Missed you all too. Anyway, I'd better get going. You must come round and listen to Amy on the violin. Do I have to? She'd be very <laughs> upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to work actually. Listen, leave this till later, I'll help you tidy up. Hey, no, you've helped enough for one day. Right, see you later, Si. Thanks for picking me up. Yeah, don't forget Amy. Don't ring me. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. See ya. Well, that's nice, was not it? Look at that. There's enough food to keep us going for the next couple of days. <laughs> so, what do you fancy doing tonight, then? Anything special? Why did you just send me away? You know why. Well, tell me again. It's been that long I've forgotten. All right, we decided that some time apart... I mean, you decided. All right, I decided that some time with your dad might help. I thought we'd been through this. So I meant to come back all smiling and grateful? No, but like I said, some time apart often helps. What if it's just made it worse? Well, has it? You seemed all right this afternoon. So, one more day of freedom. Yeah, what do you want to do? Don't care. Well, have you done all your own work that's been set? No, I've headed to the dog. Well, I'm going into town later. Yeah, fancy a martini and some nibbles. Might even give him some spans. How much? How much, he says. Are you serious? Might not be worth my while. Call me when we're going. 
Oh, Mr. Personality. Oh, did try. <sighs> well, maybe you'll get through to him, because I don't stand a chance. Maybe he wishes he was back in Portsmouth. Well, maybe I do. Peter, it's me again. I know you're avoiding me calls. I really need to speak to you. Why weren't you on that train? We're his parents, and we need to keep talking. And I could really do with your support, so can you do me a favour and meet me halfway? <laughs> Right, come on then. Let's have a fashion show. In a bit. Come on, sit down. What's going on with you, eh? He wasn't drinking again, was he? No. Then what? Say. Well, I'll tell you. You can't tell my mum. Right, okay. I hardly got to see him. Why? He was out at work all day. Then every night, his new girlfriend came round, Sharon. Well, did he not take any days off in all that time? One or two. He took me to see the victory, but she had to come with us. All I wanted was an hour or two on my own with him. Was that not too much to ask? No, say, it's not. What did you do when he was at work all day? He doodled for eight whole weeks. I should have known. How could you have? Because whenever you count on him, he's never there. Well, the trouble is, Simon thinks it's all your fault. Oh, well, yeah, of course he does. I'm the one who sent him away. Sentenced him to eight weeks playing Gooseby. I could flame and kill Peter. He's still not answering his phone. No. So what do we know about Sharon? Er, uh, she works in the local petrol station down the road. And apparently she does like a drink. Mm, sounds like a recipe for disaster. And Simon swore me to secrecy, so you're not supposed to know any of this, right? All right, so Peter looks like Super Dad. Well, just don't say I told you. No, but I'm glad you did. So when was the last time you spoke to him? A mm, week ago, maybe. And what did he say? Well, he seemed to think they're having a good time. And have you heard about this Sharon? Oh, I knew there was somebody in the ether, but he seemed to suggest it was more of a casual thing. Oh, classy. It doesn't sound very casual, does it? She was round there every night, and he barely took a single day off, according to Simon. They didn't have one father-son conversation. I've only got Simon's word for that. Oh, don't stick up for him, Ken. I'm on your side. If he knew what a big decision it was for me to send him away for eight weeks, eight weeks, I thought it was just what he needed, and... Oh, I just got it all wrong. Well, on behalf of Peter, I'm very sorry. Oh, well, Ken, it's not for you to apologise. Well, somebody needs to. I just needed him to be there. And then along comes a love interest. Yeah, Peter has a weakness for women. And this isn't headline news. Yeah, well, we all know where he gets that from. <laughs> Take it out on me, by all means. No, sorry, I didn't mean that. It's not your fault. And did he go out much in the evening? Did he leave you on your own? Sai, I'm already cross with your dad as it is, so there's no point covering up for him. Did he leave you on your own at night? No. Are you absolutely sure about that? Oh, he'd loved it if you had, wouldn't you? Don't try and make out that he's the bad guy. Nobody's saying that. You promised me you wouldn't say anything. Yeah, well, she's your mum. No, she isn't. Oh, that one's getting old. Do you know what? I'm going to leave you both to it. Where are you going? To my room to paint my nails. Well, at least Sharon was a laugh. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. Well, rather her than you. Well, I don't blame you. You didn't want me, so you sent me away. I did want you. I do want you. I love you more than anything on the earth. I sent you away because you hit me. You attacked me over and over again, and I didn't know what to do, so si. I was at the end of my tether. And eight weeks on, I still am. Where are you going? Out. Sai, si, come back here. Do you not think Simon might be exaggerating? I mean, if Peter's got a new girlfriend, he's bound to be jealous, isn't he? Yeah, well, it's about priorities, isn't it? Peter knows what a tough time Simon's had of it lately. And then the one chance he gets to spend some quality time with him, he's got that Sharon hanging around 24-7. Maybe Peter wanted Simon to get to know her. Yeah, well, it's not about her, is it? It's about Simon. Couldn't he have kept it in his pants for a few weeks and concentrated on his son? She went that bad. Well, you said that she rocked up everywhere you went. Yeah, but maybe my dad thought he'd be bored just hanging out with me for all that time. Simon is a bloke. Some pretty bird comes on the scene and bats her eyelashes and all sense goes out the window. Could you both stop making excuses for him? Peter's responsible for his own actions. We all are. Yeah, yeah. Change the record. Oi, cheeky. Your mum does everything she can to make you happy. A little bit of gratitude won't go amiss now and again. Sorry, mum. I'm dead grateful. You pat me off 
hundreds of miles away, just to be ignored by my dad in a place where I don't even know anyone. Hey! Sacky little so-and-so. Simon, don't do that. What? Say things you don't mean just to hurt me. How do you know I don't mean it? Simon, what is wrong with you? Nothing. Well, that sarky, snidey tone in your voice isn't the Simon that I know. Your mum has had a horrible time of it recently. Absolutely horrible. She's been looking after her. Yeah, all right, Eva. No, it's not all right. I can't accept that kind of rudeness. I'm being serious, Si. If I'd have spoke to my mum like that when I was your age, she'd have chucked me out the window. I made me pay for the glass. Fine, sorry. But it's not me you need to apologise to, is it? It's your mother. Right. I'm off. See you later. Sorry. Yeah, whatever. Right, get yourself ready for school. I'm late. Well, I don't feel like it. I'm still upset about my dad. Yeah, nice try. I probably would have tried that one in your shoes and all, but you need to get back to a routine. We both do. Right, come on, chop, chop. Morning. Oh, hiya. How's that? Yeah, he's OK, I think. He tried to wangle another day off school, but I told him he needs to get back into a routine. And he was all right with it, surprisingly. Well, that's good to hear. Well, they're very resilient kids, aren't they? <laughs> How do you like his new jeans? Simon's? Ken's. Oh. I, I marched him into town to get him a few new bits. Oh, right, yeah, very nice. Yeah, and they're very comfy, aren't they, kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah surprisingly roomy. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, you look as if you order your trousers in bulk off the back of a Sunday supplement. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> And while I'm not a tyrant, fashion-wise, personally, I think that once you've gone for an elasticated waist, basically, you've given up. Right. Anyway, I'd best get off. Yes, of course. Listen, I'm pleased to hear that Simon's getting back to normal at last. I mean, with a bit of luck, I might be able to put the last few months behind us. <laughs> hey, try. Yeah, let's uh, we'll do it right Yeah, I got the place to myself. Bring some of the boys around. I feel that Resident Evil rematch coming on. This is back with Tony, after his affair with Tracy. Oh, she sounds very forgiving. She sounds like she's been lobotomized. <laughs> well, maybe after all that stuff we done, maybe Tony was the better choice. That's the choice? A cheating con man or a kidnapping thug? <laughs> oh, another Jean Taylor. Yeah, uh, sure. I know Deirdre would have had a few choice words for her. Well, don't worry, Cam, because I will have a few choice words for her. What did Steve think? Is in Spain, if that answers your question. I just hope this doesn't bring his depression back on. Well, it's brought mine on, and I don't even have any tablets to fall back on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 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 one for my next trip. Nice catch. <laughs> These flaming things. I should have known they were too good to be true when they were marked down in the sale. Buy cheap, buy twice, I always say. I think some super glue in the office. Oh, forget it. I'll probably only end up gluing the flaming thing to me foot. <laughs> Which table are these? Uh, table four, you're a superstar. Thanks a bell, mate. Oh, I don't believe this. Simon's like school. Joking. Oh, Ken, will you phone him? He'll just ignore me. I'll go and change my shoes and then I'll try and track him down. Right, I better get back to work. <sighs> Listen, Tony, back together. I really didn't see that coming. Yeah, I wonder how Tracy will react. Oh, Tracy, I hadn't even thought about that. Oh, like the blue touch paper and stand well back. <laughs> Oh. The piece is burnt now. You had one job. It's all right, there's more in the freezer. Do you want to tell me exactly what you think you're playing at? Next from school, so I'm assuming your parents did and all. I'm sorry, Leon. Easily said. Go on. But what have you got to say for yourself? What on earth is the matter with you? I blame the parents. Where do you think you're going? School. You know how important it is.
I've been calling you. Where have you been? School. School finished two hours ago. It takes 15 minutes to walk home tops. I thought the scenic route. Simon! Simon, I want to talk to you. Right, Mrs. Get your glad rags on. I'm going to take you to the bistro. Aiden's family, so. Hey! What's the matter? Come here, come on. All right. So, what's he done? Can't believe he'd be this upset because he's wagged off school. It's not the first time. And to be honest, that's just the tip of the iceberg. <gasps> ah! I used to love this song. <laughs> At least he's got good taste in music, eh? It's all right, what am I like? Go on, what else has he done? Oh, you know, he's just typical teenage stuff. He just gets to me sometimes. Mm. What be you say? They all kids play up, don't they? Yeah, I wish he'd turn that music down. Wait, will you just tell me what's up with it? No, I can't. It's too horrible, he's been so nasty. Oh, no, I can't even hear myself think. If you don't turn that music down, I'm going to put a flaming baseball bat through it. Thank you. Little trick off my mum, that. You want to get through to a teenager, you've got to have a touch of cray-cray in your voice. Come on, what's happened? I mean, apart from his sarcasm and his wagging off school. Lee? This is really hard to say. Right, you're worrying me now. He's been hitting me. He's had so much to deal with. Cal and Deirdre and then this rubbish holiday with Peter. Don't make excuses for him. I'm, I'm not. I'm just trying to understand why he gets so angry. Do you know what you sound like? You sound like a battered wife. Making up excuses, trying to get your head round it. Lee, it's abuse. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's been working school, he's been drinking. God knows what he's going to do next. Do you know what? I feel like battering the little so-and-so myself. I thought I'd do any good. Yeah, well, I don't think I haven't felt the same. That's what scares me. What if we have a proper fight? What if he picked up a knife when he was so angry he couldn't think straight? He won't do that. Yeah, well, I never thought he'd hit me. Or kick me. Or throw things at me. Another feeling. I'm so sorry I wasn't here for you. It's all right, you weren't to know. Have you told anyone else? Yeah, um, Sidan knows bits and pieces, but apart from that, no. So you've been dealing with this all by yourself? Yeah, and I, I just don't know how much more I can take of it. He's out of control, Eva. <laughs> No chance. Now he even knows what they are. This is so wrong. Oh, it turns your stomach. I mean, whatever happened to Chad was here. Before your time. Talking of turning stomachs, I've got a hangover to work off. What's going on? <sighs> Nobody saw who did it. We reckon it's kids. Oi! Leanne, if you're thinking about going back into business, you might want to rethink your advertising strategy. Tracy, get lost. Yeah, shouldn't you be in your coffin? I ring the council, get it removed. I'll do it myself. Yeah. I'll do it myself. Do you reckon it is, kids? I reckon it's a kid. I don't follow. Well, it explains Simon's early start. No way. And it's not like he's not called at me before. Oh, my God, Lee. Oh, I hope I'm wrong. Well, if you're not wrong, you need to sort it out. Yeah, yeah, I know. Call me if you need anything, yeah? Thanks.
think you've got some explaining to do. How could you be so cruel? Do you really hate me that much? I just wrote what everyone thinks about you. What am I supposed to be worried or something? Well, say something. This stops. Now. It's not my fault you don't have a life. This isn't about me, Simon. You know what I reckon? I reckon you should get yourself another block. I'm serious. Whoever you can find, he can't want babies. They'll have to be like a deal breaker. Do you know, it's weird. When I was younger, I always wanted a little brother or sister. But now, not being horrible. I'm so glad you couldn't have any. What is it that Grandad's always says? Everything happens for a reason. Not another word. That reason is, you suck at being a mother. I said your date! Get out of my sight! I was so close. <sighs> but you didn't. <laughs> You've got to stay strong. I haven't got anything left. I'm running on empty here. Well, you can't just throw the towel in, can you? All oh, right, so you think I want this? You think I want any of it? get through to him. And the more I try, the more he hates me for it. So what's the answer then? <sighs> I don't know. Send him to live with Ken for a bit, I suppose. What other choice have I got? Lee, I think the last thing that Simon needs is to feel abandoned again. You're his mum. He needs you. Sai needs me like a hole in the head. He deserves better than me, Eva. He deserves better. <sighs> Can you say you wanted tea or coffee? Uh. Oh. Well, if you can't remember, I don't know how I'm supposed to. Oh, I'll have a tea. Oh. Oh! Clay, have you seen the state here? Do you not think you should hang fire on this decision about Simon? No. I can't keep hoping things are going to get better. Doing now it's harming him and it's harming me and all. I was looking for that. It was only half full. Why are we not turning into one of those obsessive cleaning people? Uh, that jumper shouldn't need washing. Except I've just got toothpaste all over it. I was talking about how I should clean my teeth properly. Because she cares? Well, give her something white and shiny to wear, Matt, more like. Oi! Your mum did not hit you, she wouldn't. Even if you are asking for it. Eva. Not tea or coffee. Tea. Hey. Oh, I don't know what the plats have done to offend her. Uh, if only they could talk, eh? Uh, I just wanted to give you a free for a cuppa. Yeah, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you before Simon gets back. Well, I'll just take him for a booster, so lunchtime? Yeah. Of course. Maybe Gail was a better to form alive. <laughs> well, there's a scary thought. You wouldn't want Gail coming at you with a thermometer, eh, Eccles? <laughs> <laughs> See, ya. See ya. Leanne! I've had a load of freebies at the gym. Sweatbands and that. Shall I drop some off for Simon later? Uh, yeah, you can do, except he's not going to be at mine. I'm going to ask Ken to have him for a bit. Oh, you've got something nice planned. I can have him. Ken's busy. No, I mean, I'm going to ask Ken to have him for a few weeks, at least. What, is it you again? No. No, but I came close to hitting him. It's just not working. Moving him out, though, isn't that a bit extreme? I'd have to justify himself to you. No, of course not. Sorry. Well, I'll drop him to you and you can give him in. I've uh, been thinking a lot about Lucy. Lucy? Oh, Simon's mum. Yeah. yeah. Must have been hard for her. A young mum facing her own death. Worrying how Si would grow up. Yeah, you do a fantastic job with Simon. No. <laughs> Lucy will be happy that you're there. I think we, uh... I think
think we need to look at managing him differently. Is he being awkward? That'll be because he's just been with Peter. No, yeah, no, no, it's not he, that. He'll settle down. I want him to come and live here for a bit. Here? Yeah. I think he needs a male role model. You. I'm, I'm not what he needs. Ah, oh, don't do yourself down. I'm, I'm not... Oh, you are, you are. No, I'm not coping. No, at his age, it makes us all feel like we can't do anything. Kenny, you're not listening to me. I said I'm not coping. Sorry. OK. I'm listening. Go on. Oh, um... Is it about Cal? Groovy? Yeah. Yeah. I just think if he lives here for a bit... That's what you want? Yeah, I think it's for the best. OK. Thank you. So, what does Simon feel about this? Does he know? Yeah, well, that's next. Has he not come home? What are you doing, Bag? Oh, I owe Sean a fiver. Oh. Oh, he's just dumping his stuff in his room. Are you OK? It'll all work out, you know, this stuff with Simon. Just think what that philosopher said. You'll get knocked down, but you'll get back up again. That was Chumba Wumba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, though, innit? I'm not allowed to use my phone in school. Do you want me to stay? No, we're fine. No, you're not allowed to use your phone in school. So I text. So I come straight home, I need a chat. Yeah, after school. Am I going into care? No. Liar. Si, I'd never put you into care. What makes you think that? Cos you're vying more than I need, and you only do that when I'm going away. You've ironed nearly everything. You're not going away. You're just going to go and stay with Grandad for a bit, that's all. Why? Because it's for the best. For who? For you. Well, for both of us. We know things go wrong when we're both here. Oh, you go and live at Grandad's then. Si, please, I'm just trying to find a solution. You can go now. Ah, no, no hurry. Sit down, Leon. Stand up, Leon. Simon, let's be civilised about this. It could be fun. Good for me to have young people around the house. And you can help Amy teach me about the world. Quite frankly, I find a lot of it bewildering these days. And you can come for your tea and catch oh, up. Just tell her to go. She's only hanging around because she feels guilty. She has nothing to feel guilty for. I always end up getting in the way in the end. Oh, si, it's I'll not see like... you. <sighs> I'll talk to him. He's hurt, that's all. That's all. Mum! Come tomorrow, yeah? Don't go! Say it'll be all right. I don't want to stop here. I know, but we need some time apart. Walk off now, and I won't speak to you again. Say. I mean it, 100%. Walk off now. I swear on Grandad's life, I'll never speak to you again. Not ever. Help me if you like. Chop some onions, make some sauce. I've been picking Robert's brains. I'm getting quite a dab of hand. Simon, how do you like to be my sous chef? You all right? Um, made some space in the wardrobe. Did you see? Hmm. Have you unpacked yet? Look, Simon, why don't you go and do that now that you can get settled before you do? Right, missus, straight in the shower, wash that thing out, and don't use my best shampoo. Oh, honestly, that kid is so clumsy. She's got the McDonald jeans. She got a lollipop stuck in her hair, like, right there. Yeah, about an hour ago. Did we come straight home? Oi, when do I ever get the chance to shop, like, ever? You all right, handsome? I told you, we should have cut it out. Oh, only a man would say that. Well, except maybe Sai looks after his lovely curls, don't you? Get off. Hey, you have to be nice to me in my own home. Yeah, nowhere else, though. Actually, uh, it's going to be Simon's home, too. Oh, for a while, at least. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, he's moving in for a while. Leanne's been, uh, well, I think it's fair to say, struggling. Yeah, she's still grieving over Carl and the atmosphere at home has been... Say it, suicidal. Tense. So, you come here for some fun, have you, eh? Huh? Huh? What, fun? Here? Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Leanne's just had a break. He was all that time down with Peter. Yeah, I mean, know how successful that was. Yeah, well, all the more reason for her to step up. Look, I just don't get it, Dad. Why should we be lumbered? We're cramped enough as it is. Well, it's only temporary. Wait, hey, that is not the point. Mum has only been gone four months. Dad doesn't need the stress off anybody, least of all a 12-year-old brat. Tracy! Look, he's ruined Dad, and you know that too. I'm not saying that it's his fault, but nobody has ever said no to him. Oh, Leanne was strict with him. Yeah, until the going got tough, and then she's palmed him off on us. She's a flake. She's lost a blow. She's holding down a job, she's bringing up a kid, not much money coming in. She's doing her best. Why do you always do that? Always see the best in people. Well, lucky for you, witchy bear. Look, we're family. I'm not. Ken still took me in. Oh, well, that was different. And it's our job to rally around. Leanna do the same for Amy. Oh, well, she wouldn't have to. But it's only for a few weeks, really. Yeah, well, as long as that's all it is. Look, I mean it, Dad. You better be nice to Amy, because if he puts one step out of line, I am going to come down on him like a ton of bricks. So... Do you have to do that here? Do it in your room. You. Or what, do you want me to carry the telly upstairs? Do it in your own room, in your own home. Oh, I forgot you haven't got one. My mum says you've been kicked out. Well, your mum's talking through her backside, as usual. I heard her. Leanne said that she wanted to send you back to your dad's, but he doesn't want you either. Yeah, that's why I'd be down to stay. He wants me to meet his new girlfriend. But I didn't want to live down there. I'd miss you too much. Get off! Get off! Mum! Simon! Amy, what on earth is going on? He was trying to smash my violin. Liar. That's what he said. Poke it down me here again, and I will. Simon? She was screeching it that close to my head. I'm meant to practice every day. Not in my face. Not whilst I'm trying to watch a film. I always practice her. Look, with more of us in the house, we need to have more give and take. I didn't ask him to move Amy. in. Amy? It's my granddad and all. Simon, how much of the film is left? About half an hour. OK. So Simon has a living room till the end of the film, and Amy, you have the half hour afterwards. What's wrong with the bedroom? Yeah, that's a fair point, actually. You could practice your scales in there. What? Simon, you're going to have to be more clever than this for all our sakes. Yeah, I'm Simon? I'm go off now. Is that the best you can do? Frankly, the terms are real. I give you all you get when we go step closer to the Oh, great. Cheers, Leanne. What we celebrating? No, oh, we survived the shift from hell. When I'm not here, every shift's the shift from hell. So, not your freedom, no. Where are you off to next, then? You're going to put your dancing shoes on and head off down the Roxy? Oh, up yours, Tracy. Not taking lectures on motherhood from you. Oh, touchy. You know, I might have failed, but at least I tried my best. Um, listen, Leanne. All kids are selfish brats, right? And when you've seen the stuff that Simon's seen, well, it's good that he's got some fight left in him. Yeah, he's got that all right. Hey, listen. The break will do you good. Steph. What's that? You drugged her and replaced her with a robot. Simon? Why is your Wi-Fi so slow? It's fast enough for our needs. You're not texting people, Skype chatting at this hour. Snapchatting and no. Come on, it's time you were in bed. Just finish this game. Simon. She's messaged me. Good night, love you. She does. Three words. 
I'm blown away. Well, who'd risk a paragraph? He said he never wanted to speak to her again. She meant it, you know, with all her heart. She should have brought my quilt. He uses those stupid sheets and blankets these days. No, no, Simon. I love you too. Lee? He hasn't messaged me back. Not even good night. Oh, hon. But we always say good night. Even if we've had a little row, it's just one of our things. He's angry. He wants you to feel like this. Yeah, but the text he used to send me would be like, I love you, Mum. Good night. Kiss, kiss, smiley face. I could show him, you know? Don't, Lee. Don't do it to yourself. You heard the way he spoke to me. I've lost him. I've lost him forever. <laughs> So the people wouldn't mind using the bathroom sometime today. Did you ask her how long she's going to be? Uh, yeah, she said about five foot seven. Hilarious. Well, I don't mind not having a wash of my teeth before I go to school. That's because you're a minga. Shut up. Make me. Can you two not start bickering before we've even had breakfast? Your granddad's right. At least wait till lunchtime. I think she's been 25 minutes. What on earth is she doing? She's making herself look nice. Well, I better get in before you then, because you're going to need hours. Says Shrek. Don't even call me that. Like a broken record. Or what, Shrek? Shut your mouth, or else I'm going to shut it for you. Oi, if you speak to her again like that, you'll go straight through that window. Do you understand me? Oh, I hate this place, and I hate you. <sighs> Tactful as ever, Tracy. Dad, I am not having him shouting at my daughter. No, that's my job. Well, threatening him's not going to help. It's a kid. He's going through a tough time. Oh, quick, Amy, go and get your violin, cos my heart's breaking here. Look, I know it's difficult all living under the same roof, but can we at least try to get on? We can try, but I wouldn't hold your breath. Do you your day off. What, after I finish shopping? Hmm. Do my nails, watch my telly. All right, for some. I thought you said you were snowed under at the factory. Well, we are. Got a double shift at the Rovers at the weekend. I don't over exert myself, do I? Oh, no, perish the thought. You're on your way in? Oh, yeah. I'll walk with you. I'll say. Uh, yeah, yeah, OK. Has he mentioned me at all? No, but, uh, you know, it's that age, isn't it? They're all pretty monosyllabic. Been playing games like his phone most of the time. Oh, stuff it. What's up? I've left mine back at the flat. I'll catch you up. Oh, can you grab the shopping list while you're there? So go on, how is he really? Uh, twice. He's pretty messed up. What do you mean? I mean, he's really angry. What, Leanne? At everyone. Mm, let's play. Because he told his teachers you weren't feeling well, so he should be resting. I feel better now. Simon, if you're lying... I'm not to... lying to you. No, please, don't shout at me. Well, I have to shout Donna, because it's the only time anyone ever listens to me. Well, that's not true. And even if it were, don't like you speaking to me that way. Oh, the way you spoke to Amy this morning. Oh, go on, take her side like everyone else. Not taking anybody's side. Yeah, you are. I'm not stupid. I know my mum hates me, Dad, Amy and you. No one even wants me here. Well, guess what? I've got used to it. And I don't care anymore. Well, you could give us a bit more notice. I sound annoyed. Yeah, that's because I am. I'm trying to run a restaurant here, not a flaming greasy spoon. Right. No. That table for seven booked in this afternoon. They've only gone and cancelled because one of them's got a flaming toothache. I'll give her a flaming toothache. Can I say something? What? Why don't we take the day off? I can keep my own things here and, uh, well, let's be honest, you're not in the best of moods, are you? I'm fine and I don't need you looking out for me, thanks. I I'm not. I'm just worried you might end up lamping a punter when they get on the wrong side of you. Look, I, I know you're going through a tough time and... I know why. So, why don't you give Eva a call and, I don't know, go into town and look at shoes or whatever. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could get our hair done and talk about boys. Yeah, I, I asked for that, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? I need a break. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. All right, Ken. Don't mind me. 
I'll just give him the handsome space. She's a bit... You're right. What makes you ask? Well, you haven't got a book in your hand for a start. Mm. Who's out there? Simon had to pick him up early from school. He said he wasn't feeling very well. well what's the matter? Nothing. And everything. We had an argument. About what? Not even sure. But I don't think I've ever seen a boy so full of bitterness or so profoundly alone. Well, I could have a word. Well, thanks for the offer, but what makes you think it'd be any different with you? Well, sometimes it's easier talking to someone you don't have a history with. The way things are going, I suppose anything's worth a try. You what? On the ball. You not do that? Imagine it's someone you're angry at. I used to. Yeah, I pretend it was uh, some kid who was bullying us or a teacher. And I'd line it up and just flame and leather it against the wall as hard as I could. Sometimes I just imagine it was me done. Why in? I went through a sort of a phase. I was I'm probably a bit older than you are now. Me and him just didn't get on. It's just all of a sudden, everything he did just got on my nerves big time. I remember once, though, we'd had this massive row about summer. I, I don't know what. And, I went outside and, and I booted the ball as hard as I could. <laughs> it flew back and smashed me right in the face. I, mean, I was all right, it didn't even hurt that much, but my nose started pouring with blood. And then my dad must have seen it from the window because as soon as it happened, they came legging it out. That's when I knew. You knew what? How lucky I was. Because no matter what I did, no matter how much we fought, it was there for me. Leanne's really worried about you. I saw her this morning. She was... She was asking how you were. It's only because she feels guilty for dumping me here. That's... That's not true. You know it isn't. What did you tell her? I told her you were fine. Which was a lie. Because you're not, are you? Hey, come here. It's all right. It's all right. It's nice. So we uh, cheek you off the road? Oh, no, I should go in and help Robert. Oh, come on, he said he'd be fine without you. Just a little bit. Oh, go on, then. Here, I hope you've got some plastic bags for that creature, because if I see one more pile of dog dirt on oh, this... Oh, shut up and do one, will you? Oh. 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 Some mum you are. Amy, I am trying my best. It's not my fault that I'm no good at fractals or whatever they're called. How do you manage at work when you're trying to add up things and that? Well, I use one of these. We're not allowed to use a calculator. That's cheating. Oh, only if you get caught. All right, face ache. Where have you been? Out with Eccles. Where's Grandad? Out with his skank. Look, he said you've got some homework to do. We well, don't want to do it. Tough! All right. Yeah, OK, all right. Yeah, well, I'll be over in a sec. Right, that was Todd in the shop. He needs me to go over for a bit. 
Missing you already. Oh, look, never mind that. Can you two be trusted to behave, or do I need to chain one of you to a radiator? I'm not the problem. Yeah, well, you're hardly the solution either. Look, just concentrate on your homework. I'll be back in 20 minutes. I wasn't expecting to see you again today. Well, I did have to drag her kicking and screaming out of a shoe shop. No, I just came to see whether you might need some help later on. No, it's not a problem. We've got Melanie coming in a bit, we're fine. Oh, well, that's good because I actually feel a bit tiddly. <laughs> well, that might be my fault. <laughs> uh, have you heard from Simon yet? No. Why? What's happened? Oh, nothing to worry about. I just you know, had a bit of a chat with him earlier. We got the feeling he was missing you and might want to talk. Oh, uh, has he told you that? Well, not in so many words, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we came around to see you later. Stop it. I'm not doing anything. You're taking up all the room. I need it. I'm doing my homework. Well, so am I. I won't tell you again. This is my house, not yours. Do you think I like being here with you? Then go home. Oh, I forgot. No one wants you there either. Shut your mouth! What are you doing? I'm calling my mum and I'm going to tell her what you've just done. Put it down. Drop dead. I said put it down! I'm not scared of you. Well, you should be. Good in leather, Ken. What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> he hit me. No, I never. This is true. <gasps> Mom, Simon hit me. What? Well, what have you done, you nasty Tracy, little? Tracy. Did you do this? Did you? Simon, look at me. Tracy. Mm. Hello? Why did you hit her? She deserved it. Why? What was she doing? Well, what does it matter? He hit her. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. I didn't do anything. You were winding me up. I wasn't, Mum, I swear. You're such a liar. Look, he admitted it. What more do you want? Look at the state of her. Look, whether she was winding you up or not, that's no excuse for what you've done. I want you to apologise to Amy right now. Apologise? Leanne, I want him out of the house. All right, calm down. Well, go on. No. Simon, I'm warning you. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do? You're just making it worse for yourself. What do you care? Simon! What's that supposed to mean? Just shut up. Will you listen to him? Tracy, you're not helping. Come on, Simon. Oh, you can shut up and all. Simon, go to your room and calm down. No. Yeah, go to your room and calm down. Simon! <sighs> Look, uh, take, take Amy next door. Yeah, yeah, come on, love. Let's get some cream on your arm. That boy needs a good slap. Oh, and what's he got to do with you? No more shouting, please. Listen, I think it might be better if you left us to it. Of course. Anger coming from it. And the way he spoke to you. Have you ever seen him like that? Like... He's had a really tough time. Well, I'm aware of that, but what he did to Amy and the aggression that I saw in this room. Oh, the bruise is already coming through. Like, you're going to have to tell him the truth. What do you mean? He can't hide it anymore. Uh, Simon's been hitting me. What? Simon's been hitting me. For months. I know I should have told you. I was ashamed. I felt guilty, like it was somehow my fault. Of course it's not your fault. You really think anyone would think that? Yeah, but I'm supposed to be his mum, aren't I? 
After everything he's been through, I, I just think that he was trying to blame someone and I can see why he chose me. So can I. Let us speak. Every time it happened, I swore that I'd tell somebody and that it'd never happen again. But then he'd say sorry and he'd cry and he'd be my Simon again. How often did he hurt you? A few times. Oh, yeah. Well, I knew something was wrong and I did ask you ought to be honest. Yeah, I know. Instead, you let it get completely out of control. What kind of mother does that make you? If you don't shut up, I'm going to smack you in the face. I didn't say anything because I didn't want social services getting involved and didn't get sent away and punished for something that wasn't his fault. It's not his fault. He's been through so much. He's a really good kid. He's just been through a lot. Please, Ken, please don't be angry with him. Look, if you really cared about him, Leanne, you would have nipped this in the bud before it escalated. Instead, you've sat back and let him turn into a monster and now he's hit my little girl. Well, well done. Nice work. Tracy. Oh, please. She's made a bad situation worse and you know it. Right? I warned you. Uh, given the conversation now, I don't think violence is the answer. Look, I'm not having that boy another night in the house with my daughter. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. And I don't want to argue with you. Oh. You agree? Well, that's... that's good. Yeah, I'm afraid I also agree. We can't put Amy at further risk. You need to get him proper professional help. Yeah, of course we do. You don't want him growing up with anger issues, believe me. No, oh, well, you sound like you know a lot about it. Yeah, well, like Robert says, we'll get him help, but in terms of where he stays now... Well, he's just gonna have to come back to the flat. Give me, Simon. Please. I don't mean to do it. I just feel so angry sometimes. Well, we're going to give you all the help and support that you need. But you can't stay here anymore. Will you go back to the flat with Leanne? I do love Leanne. I know you do. And she loves you. We all do. That kid is not setting foot in this house again. He's your nephew. Yeah, and Amy's my daughter. Oh, thank you for turfing him out, Dad. Oh, no, let's get this clear. I didn't turf Simon out, and I won't have him ostracised from this family. We're just keeping you away from Amy for a while, that's all. Yeah, he's lucky that we didn't call the police. Oh, well, when it comes to bad behaviour, I hardly think you can sit in judgement. <sighs> Gonna take Eccles to a walk. He's got a point. Look, I actually don't blame Simon. I blame Leanne. How can you say that? Well, because she's a lousy excuse for a mother. It's a good job she can't have kids of her own. What? Where are you going? The guy need a walk as well. How is he? Quiet and sorry. Well, that's good. Yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah, but it's different now, though, isn't it? Now that everyone knows. Well, not everyone, but you know. Well, Tracy knows, so it'll soon be all over the street. Well, you just tell them to mind their own flipping business. Yeah, but it's Simon I'm worried about. I'll go treat him. And then the school, I'm gonna have to tell the headmaster. Who's that this time? Hello? Uh, oh, yeah, come up. It's Robert. See how you and Simon were. Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, we're both all right. Come in. I uh, can't imagine what it must have been like for you. Oh, it's been horrendous. You know, I thought some time away from me would do him good. I thought we were over the worst. It's obviously worse than we thought. Anything's better than being abused in secret. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm going to go see the GP tomorrow, see what we need to do. That's a great idea. I'm not going to give up on him. Oh, go on then, you greedy mare. Hey, are you hungry? Uh, yeah, I could eat. Oh, good, because I'm making a spag bowl. 
Hey, let me pour you some wine. I hate it when we fight. So where did you go? Well, I just went to check on Simon and Leanne. You went where? Well, I'm too hate when we fight. You went to see them behind me back? Well, I wasn't aware I needed permission. That is a betrayal. Well, where Simon and Leanne are concerned, I don't agree with you. I'm not going to agree with you on everything. You better get used to that. Yeah, but on some things, I expect your support. No, on everything, you expect my support. That's the problem. Do you fancy Leanne? Don't be ridiculous. Is that why you're taking her side? I'm not taking sides. Why do you have to make things so black and white? Because everything is black and white. This conversation's going nowhere. Oh, where are you going now? To bed. Don't wake me when you come up. And you can shut up and all. Oh, nice timing. Kettle's just boiled. Oh, no, you're all right. Cat's standing in Ettering. I need to phone this woman that the doctor's put me on to. Oh, yeah. How'd you get on with that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was okay. I was a bit disappointed at first because I didn't get to see Dr. Gaddas, and I really like Dr. Gaddas. You know, when it's something so... Oh, I don't know. I just was half expecting this new doctor to say, oh, what are you wasting me time for? I've got a surgery full of sick people here. Well, you need help as much as anyone else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. He was really nice, really understanding. And he said, Sai needs to go and see a counsellor. Oh, right. Yeah. The problem is, so do a lot of other people. It's a massive waiting list. Oh, really? Yeah. The only option is to go private. Well, can you afford to do that? Well, I can't afford not to. So I need help. Do you think you might be able to get the night off? I thought we could go out somewhere, do something nice. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know, I'll ask. You know, I still feel awful about Simon and Amy. I felt like I was being forced to choose between them. Well, you weren't to know all that stuff. He's a good kid, really. It's a form of domestic violence in a way, isn't it? Oh, come off it. Simon is hardly a six-foot rugby player, and Leanne's no shrinking violet. No, my money would be on her in a fight. It's a bit more complicated than that. Oh, trust you to fall for that twaddle. What twaddle? Well, Simon, her son, has got absolutely no respect for her, or anybody else for that matter. No, it couldn't be his fault for being a thug, or her fault for being a terrible mother. No, it has to be domestic violence. Oh, phone Jeremy Kyle. You know what Simon's been through. We can't expect him to come out of it unscathed. He's clearly got deep emotional problems. Yeah, well, all the more reason for Leanne to put a foot down. You know, I'm a single mother too, you know. But Amy runs rings around you. And she's not running rings around me. Yeah, well, she doesn't hit me. And she says please and thank you. I'll get it. Well, all I'm saying, Dad, is kids at that age are hard work. Tracy's still on one. Hi. Hi. How's Amy? She'll live. She's fine. Listen, Simon's really sorry. Oh, right, but he couldn't come here and say that himself. Look, I'm sorry, Ken. I should never have sent him here. I knew he had issues. I, I should have warned you. I am really sorry. Oh, well, that's all very well and good, Leanne. But what I want to know is what you're going to do about it. You've been botting all of this up. Yeah, well, not anymore. I'm going to get professional help. Well, we're going to go and see a counsellor together. What's wrong with a thick ear? Oh, Tracy. I've tried everything. I've tried ranting, shouting, banning the telly, banning everything. But the harder I come down on Simon, the harder he comes down on me. So the GP's referred us to a counsellor. Oh, I think that sounds very sensible. Have you told Simon yet? No, not yet. I just wanted to try and sort it out, talk to you. It might be a waste of time, but I've got to try something. Well done. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring you up to speed. Thank you. Hope you don't mind, but I uh, told Peter. Really? I think he's with Simon. You just don't know how he's going to react to things. Well, he knows this ain't normal, surely. He's normally home by now, even if it's only to grunt at me and skulk off to his room. I was the same, to be fair. Teenage tear away. Yeah, he's not even a teenager yet. We haven't even got to that stage. Does Peter know? Yeah, Ken phoned him and then he rang. All right, and what's he said? Well, what can he say? It's easy to dole out knee-jerk advice when you're 300 miles away. Oh, no, to be fair, he, he wasn't judgmental. You know, size a mixed-up kid. If anything, Peter blames himself. You're doing a brilliant job. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I can. 
things. Hiya. Yeah. All right, Ty, good day at school? It's OK. Listen, will you just sit down for a minute? I want to talk to you. It's nothing bad. Your mum loves you, you know. She just wants to make you happy. Listen, I've made an appointment to see this woman. She's going to help us. What sort of woman? Well, she's a type of counsellor. Counsellor? Yeah. And she's going to talk us through our problems, both of us, not just you. What, and then she does like a report? Yeah. And she'll try and help us understand why me and you have had such a hard time. What if you told her already? The truth. Well, it's better if you told Grandad and Auntie Tracy. Everyone's going to think I'm some sort of nut job. No, they won't, Si. They just want to help. I don't want to talk to a stranger. Cancel it, please. Si, we have to try this. But anything could happen. They could take me away, put me in a home or something. No, they won't do that. And even if they tried, I wouldn't let them. But it wouldn't be up to you. If they sign bad news, they'll lock me up. Si. Si, they're just going to help you, that's all. Oh, hiya. Sorry I'm late. I just had to have a quick chat with Simon. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. He's uh, agreed, well, unless he changes his mind tomorrow, he's agreed to come around and chat with this woman with me. Well, that's great. Listen, if you don't feel like working... No, 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 I'm fine. I think he's doing a brilliant job. Aw, oh, thanks. You've been really good about all this. Uh, shouldn't you be at home restraining that thug of a son of yours? Who's looking after him? Either is. But what if he escapes? Forget therapy, Leanne. He should be wearing a tag. Right, enough. You out. What? You heard. Get out, you poisonous little bitch. Who does he think he is? Staying out all night, switching his phone off. Dad, are you listening? I'm not going to stay here like some sort of wife, waiting for him to drag his backside home. Oh, breathing space would do you both good. This isn't the biggest of houses. What? Are you saying that you want us out? No, no, no. Just give Bob a chance to calm down. And when he does, try to take a step back and listen for once. I bet Leanne couldn't wait to open a door for him. Right, that's it. I'm going round there. Oh, to Leanne? To the bistro. Look, let him come to you for once. Oh, someone's had an every night. <sighs> Crashed at a miss. Hey, yeah. What's your charming girlfriend going to say about that? She sniffs by a tongue, doesn't she? Besides, he's six foot four with a beard. Hey, never say never. Jamie, it's me. Domestic? Well, you're the expert. Oh, because I bet you've never fallen out with a blow. Sweet and easy going, me. Words no one had ever used to describe my girlfriend. Oh, I can think of a few good ones. Look, I'm, I'm sorry you got dragged into it. Shack up with Tracy, get used to falling out with people. No, that's the thing. She swore she'd turn over a new leaf. Oh, how many times have I heard that before? Hi. Right, I'll go and check on Steph. Uh, no, stay. I'm sure it's you, Tracy, who's come to see. I've been worried about you. Where did you stay? Are you seriously going to start all that again? No, I didn't come to fight. Well, what did you come for? Because we don't open for another hour. I came to say sorry. You sticking up for Leanne like that, it's the kind of bloke you are. I mean, I know you would never give her a second look. <laughs> well, with his taste in women, I'll take that as a compliment. Simon hurting Amy has wound me up. It's him that should be saying sorry. Look, Robert, I... I want to be the one that you defend. <laughs> When it comes to self-defence, you're a pro. Are you going to let her speak to me like that? I think she's still waiting for that apology. Oh, please. I'd rather go and mop the kitchen floor. Has it ever occurred to you that she might actually enjoy winding me up? Look, Robert, I came to say sorry. After all, I've given up to be with you. Why would I throw it away for some silly fling? Is that what she offered you? I oh, knew come it! Come on, I was about to say I'll see you at home okay, later. Okay, okay, be... okay. I'm sorry. Please, come home. Please. All right, lad. Never said he was going to be here. Yeah, he's skiving from the gym. Uh, I'm on my lunch. It's four o'clock. Shut up, you. Uh, hey, before you get lost in that, after tea, I want you to go and apologise to Amy, Si. Do I have to? Well, are you not sorry you hit her? Yeah. Well, then you have to tell her. Okay. 
Right. Are you going to do any work today, or are you going to stop for your tea? Depends what it is. Well? I shouldn't have hurt you. And? Let him speak. Sorry. Oh, is that it? I promise that I won't do it ever again. I mean that. Right, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think Amy should be allowed to say something. Right, go on, darling. Tell him how he made you feel, how out of order he was. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought you wanted me to take Amy for a pizza. Really? I accept your apology. Come on, Grandad. Oh, for goodness sake. Can I have a garlic bread? Yeah, well, Sam has apologised. Emma's accepted to come in. Now, please, just move on. Yeah, thanks, Amy. Bye, Ken. Right, come on, sir. Doing anything nice tonight, Leanne? Nah, I thought not. It must be really difficult to spend all that time on your own. Robert and I are planning a really nice romantic night for two. You know, salmon on croutes, chablis on ice. Oh, really? Well, that's funny, cos I've been with Robert all day. And from what I've heard, he'd rather boil his own head than spend another second with you. Enjoy your fish. Bye, um, Ken. I think we could, uh, walk Eccles before the pizza. After. Cos that wasn't embarrassing. Stay away from Robert. <laughs> oh, what? You're going to pull me ponytail? I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, Tracy, we work together. It's ridiculous. I won't warn you twice. <sighs> Does Robert know you're sneaking around in the dark, issuing silly little threats? Don't push me. You know what I'm capable of. I'm not a woman you want to mess with. I knew it was Simon's first session today. Oh, yeah, he's just through there. Yeah, nice to... one. Just wanted to say good luck, really. All right, mate. Just wanted to say good luck with the counselling today and to see if you fancy to kick about in the park after school tonight. Uh, yeah, if you want. You nervous? About the fight. I'll take that as a yes, then. Right, come on, you. Let's go. Come on. Oh, well, maybe next week you can pay for the cab. Go on, Si, you're more than welcome. Raise your piggy bank. Maybe next week I won't go. No, maybe next week it'll be a better session. It won't, because I'm not going back. <sighs> we'll talk about this inside. Nothing more to say. Sparkling leggings, same as Courtney Kardashian. What, what else do I want? Phone with diamonds on it. Cute puppy in a handbag. There you go. Egg on toast with a twist. Whoa. How cool is that? I know. Am I the king or what? Yeah, you are. King of the kitchen. I want my eggs in a different shape every day. Hey, don't push it, missy. Create household sexy, just got out of bed hair. Seriously, who are you trying to impress? Well, that's not mine. If this is for Leanne's benefit, I am oh, telling Tracy, you now. don't start It's not that. Robert's. Right. Well, whose is it then? Grandad's. Nessa bought it for him. She said he had a magnificent head of hair and it just needed a bit of a zhuzh. <laughs> right. Well, that woman is making a total fool out of him. Mum would be turning in a grave. Babe, will you get a wiggle on? You're going to be late. Here's your book. Uh, when did these get here? Uh, I don't know. I'm not bothered if I'm late. It's double science. Oh, I used to love science. Well, bits with the explosions and setting fire to stuff. We're only doing electricity and I'm like, why do I need to know where it comes from? As long as it's there, we'll switch the light on. I'm not first. <laughs> Anything interesting? Uh, no. I'm gonna finish my Christmas list. That was your eyes have got an orange and a bag of nuts. That so wouldn't could it with me. Mum, I'm gonna text you my Christmas list. Oh, yeah, well, just send it direct to Father Christmas. He can sort it for you. Him over there, blue tie, said the meat was like an old piece of shoe leather. What was that? They left on a plate. Yeah, I know. He said he wants a bottle of wine as compensation. I feel like telling him to shove it where the sun don't shine. Well, I mean, have to get on the wrong side of you. <sighs> hey, you've been flat out. Why don't you take a break? Oh, I'm an hypocrite. I tell Sian to behave himself, and here I am. Oh, yeah, how's the, how's the counselling going? Oh, he barely said two words last time we went. He just sat there and sulked. To be honest, I don't hold much hope. 
Well, I'll give it a chance. It's early days. Well, he's supposed to be seeing him again today. He's totally refused. So what are you going to do? Drug him, bundle him in the back of a cab. <laughs> You're determined, I'll give you that. Oh, I'm all talk. To be honest, I feel completely out of my depth. Listen, um, I hate to ask, but would you mind having another word with him? You were so good last time. Uh, yeah. I mean, don't know if I do any good, but yeah, I'll give it a go. Oh, thanks. There you go. You all set? Not going. Well, I don't blame you. Men, we don't like it, do we? Going on and on about how we feel. Too right. But listen, it's all right. I bet that counsellor's unshockable. You heard it all before, and much worse than you. Do you think? Yeah. She's blokes like you all day, every day. Ask yourself, mate. This time next year, do you still want to be this person? Or do you want to move on? Why don't you do yourself a favor and commit to going, say, half a dozen times? All right, give it your best shot. If it's not working, bin her off. Okay. Good man. Will you come on all today? Oh, no, sorry, Robert's busy. Uh, uh, no, no, it's, it's fine, honest. Those blokes got to stick together, haven't we? <laughs> well, if you feel awkward, I could sit in the waiting room next time. It won't be a next time. She's a rubbish counsellor. Oh, sorry, give her a chance. Whatever. Well, I've got to get back to work. Don't let me stop you. Thanks. Oh, listen, thanks again for today. I know how boring it is sitting in that waiting room. Uh, no, it's fine. I read Cosmopolitan from cover to cover. And now I know everything there is to know about how to please your man. I just feel so useless sitting there watching Sai all uptight and angry. Hey, you're doing your best, Leon. <sighs> And here I am pouring me out to you. You must think I'm a total mess. Well, of course I don't. Hey, come here. Come on. Oh, it's Tracy, sorry. That was my fault. Uh, Robert was just being kind. Look, whatever. Um, will you bring me over a glass of red wine? Nice Tracy worries me more than nasty Tracy does. <laughs> hmm. 